every single day, and I cannot, nor will I not, concern myself with other people. All right, good answer, Phil. As the old man goes, there is no defense in bodybuilding. Yeah, Bob. First of all, Phil, I want to say, you know what? I commend you on that because, I mean, that, those are words from a champion, you know? And that's what we need. We need, we need leadership. There's no bad blood amongst any of these guys up here on stage. And I can tell you that when I was backstage, you know, people were saying, well, what, what feels different? What feels different? I feel the same amount of love here that I felt 13 years ago, you know? So... Yeah, absolutely. And um, it just go to show that, you know, everybody's grounded. These guys work so hard. And to walk out here and, and to earn this spot, your, your level of thinking is on a whole different level to where yeah, there's negativity flying around. Maybe it's not flying around here. It's flying around in a social media negative devilish world out there. And I think that these guys are certainly uh, – strong enough to, to overcome all that. And, and I think you guys can feel what I'm feeling right now. You know, no, nobody's going at each other right here. This is, it feels good. It feels really good to me. So, and I didn't know what to expect coming here. I didn't know if everybody was going to attack me or everybody was going to jump on me or start beating me or punching me or whatever. But the love that I feel, I mean, this is, this is, it's, it's unbelievable. So, you know what? I think the sport's in a great position. And um, I want to say thank you guys for, uh, for all the respect that you've, you've shown me through this process. Next to you, uh, you share those sentiments? Uh, you're not worried about their old dad here, are you? I got, I got two different answers. Political and the truth. Give me the truth. Nobody wants political. I'm going to political first. <laughs> Kevin coming back is awesome. <laughs> and um, I think it's really good for the sport. Really. But, I mean, let's be real. I was whooping Kevin before he retired. <laughs> now, I've been competing for 17 years. And for a person to take 13 years off and training for six months, that's not, I, I, I wasn't worried at all, to be honest. Now, if Kevin came, if Kevin took like three years of training, then we could be talking about six months, come on, man. <laughs> Dexter, you want me to take my stuff off? <laughs> That's what we want to see, take your shit off. Hey, this is your moment now, bro. And we can go right now, most muscular. See, I'm, you ready? I, I want to let you guys know. Dexter, are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. Hang on a second. I see a challenge coming on right here, boss. What do you say, Dex? Look, I don't know if you guys know what. <laughs> I try and be serious, but that really wasn't me. Nah, Dex. I look up to Kevin so much, man, to be honest You're with right. you. Um, I'm just worried about me and myself, and I. That's it. You know, I put in the work. I pushed Phil to the limit last year, and um, I'm going to win this year. You can believe that. Write that shit down right now. Dexter's going to win this year. He says, write it down, champ. What do you say? Phil, you got the last word. It took him that long to say that. <laughs> Why didn't you say that at the beginning? I came here. Because we're finishing the show now. I came here with Phil's ass and we go home. Well, well, no, Phil, I had to say something. It took you 30 minutes to talk. No, that was Sean, I, 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 that, Sean I, Roden, is Dexter going to beat Phil this year? Come on. I mean, I had to talk with you the other day. You give us the truth, too. Don't be political at all. I mean, you don't want me to take my jacket off, bro. Oh. Well, <laughs> I, well, I don't want you to, but I guess everybody else here wants you to. You know, we're gonna wait. In, we're gonna wait until Friday night. I think everybody be. Uh, well, Friday is only one day away. If you're not in shape today, you won't be in shape tomorrow. <laughs> so, well, yeah, that's a good point. We gotta give them what they pay for. They pay to see everything. They pay. They got their tickets right now. All of them. They were scanned when they walked in here. Well, Sean, let's get. Hey, Sean, come on. I'll go with you. Sorry, it's, not like, it's not like you've never been here and you're still nervous. Yeah, come on, Sean. Let's see what I'll you got. I'll take my shirt off if you take yours off. <laughs> oh, listen. 
I would definitely take my shirt off if he takes his off. I'll peel down to the skin. Well, I, I want to see that just to see DJ. Well, that was Sean Roden. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Kevin's got an open challenge sending you Olympians. Anybody want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now? Kevin Any takers? Nobody wants no party. Anybody, hey, anybody want to challenge me? Come on now. <laughs> I'll take any one of you guys. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. With donuts when and I everything. Won, when I won your show in Poland, you remember I ruined your, yeah, you your dress good. shirt? You look good. So I think I owe you one. I owe you oh, one. Oh, yeah, you shirt. <laughs> Go ahead, talk, tell me that story. Let's go. Let's go. I knew oh. which one. Who wants to see it? Cedric versus Kevin. <laughs> okay, most muscle. Yeah, I got you. Wait, wait, don't do the most muscular from the side, though, because I, I can't, I can't do that. That's the one that looks the most muscular from the side. Right. Who wants to pull this down right now? Anybody? We're doing from the front. Kevin LaRoney, center stage. Cedric McMillan, there center stage. Let's go see the most muscular from the back. Sold out. Folks, that's gonna have things up. My co-host Dennis James. Thank you, Rob Shea. Coming out.